Today we are working on the butt bow and I was going to use netting ha, right here but I decided that the taffeta really is sturdy enough to support um, the butt bow without needing the additional uh, netting for the back. So basically the construction is fairly straightforward. You just take your two pieces right side together, seam them along the short end, 5 eighths of an inch, and that's your center seam. And then the long edges, I'm going to seam those together as well as the ends. Um, I'll leave an opening so that I can turn it out and then get that slip stitched. Uh, together and then construct the knot. It's uh, after I've pressed it out. So it's a very easy butt bow to make. So next step, as you can see, I've sewn my seam down the middle of the long edge of the fabric and I pressed it out. You want to press it on the ends as well, uh, on the, the long end right here. Um, because when you fold it out, you're going to have a nice, you're, when you turn it inside out, you'll have a nice crease on it the way you want. Then we're going to seam down these edges and uh, you might want to clip your corners a little bit because when you turn it out, of course. Um, but this is pretty straightforward as far as butt bows go. I now have the bow sewn and completely turned out and pressed. And right here, I have to slip stitch this center seam, um, and then I will um, fold it and turn it into a bow. I have my slip stitching done, and now I have folded the bow piece of fabric in half. Now, I've overlaid the original pattern piece on top of it so that I can figure out where my stitching line is because I made this, I cut this pattern about four inches or so uh, smaller than the pattern piece uh, so basically just to conserve a little bit of fabric and so you can see here on the um, pattern piece well it's upside down but it says stitching line right there and this dotted line uh, up along the stretch of the fabric is where the stitching lines should be so my pattern piece that would be on the pattern piece it would be ten and a half inches from the outside edge of the bow and that is not where you want to be obviously you want to put your stitching line eight and a half inches from the edge of the bow and of the bow piece so you're just going to do one simple stitch right down here eight and a half inches from each of the outside edges here as you can see um, and then we will open it out and fold it into a bow. The seam is in and now I have opened out my fold and my stitching line separated those pieces and then I'm just laying the fold on it centering it and once I have the knot together, I will crunch this up and it will form a beautiful bow. See? Well, maybe not so much. There you go. Now you can see what the basic idea of the bow is going to be. Knot piece, pretty straightforward. Just folded it along the long edge and put a seam. Did a half inch seam. Now I'm going to turn this out and I'll fold over one of the edges and press that in and then I'll loop it around my bow. Now when I make a butt bow, I generally, especially if it's a fancier, heavier type of fabric, I generally try and put my folds into the bow and then knot, uh, loop um, some thread around it so that it holds in place before I actually attach my knot. Um, that just makes it a lot more manageable as far as sewing and doing the hand sewing with the knot. So now I have the knot and I'm basically using my seam ripper kind of just as a little poking device to get the end of the knot in as tightly as possible 
um, into the other end so that I have a nice finished seam back here that I am going to slip stitch together and it just makes the knot um, nice and pretty on this side and that's how it looks. Voila! We have a finished butt bow! As you can see, I have it placed, um, I don't have it pinned yet, on the back of Katie's dress. Um, you can see the back side of this butt bow. My knot's a little noose, loose, but um, that's okay. I'm going to sew a snap approximately here and here, and then I am going to place the other portion of the snaps on about the same spot right here. Um, looks like it's going to wind up being positioned approximately um, just on the inside of her dress um, on the bodice side on the bodice side back panel and you're going to basically position it so that the knot of the tr bow winds up right about here which is um, where your seam for your bodice and your skirt come together and the knot is going to land right about there and then the rest of the butt bow is just going to sit on the back of the dress and of course you know positioning is going to vary a little depending on the size of the girl but that is how the butt bow is going to be positioned <laughs>